guys, it's Master Kiz back with another Borderlands 2 loot update. And I haven't done a loot update for a little while because I haven't really found anything that was fantastic to show off. But I finished the game yesterday. And for anyone that has finished the game, they know that the last boss does drop a fair bit of loot. And I'll actually give you a tip before I get into the video. If you haven't fought the last boss yet and you are going to fight him, either do one of two things. Either go in there with a whole lot of free space in your backpack or have a few friends online that would join your game and pick up stuff because I had no one online and I had no space in my backpack so I had to be extremely picky about what I picked up. I'm not sure but I don't think there's a way to get back to that area. I'm going to have to test that actually uh, after I make this video and I'm going to see if you can get back to that area but I probably left twenty to thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff on the ground and I, I've now lost it so there's a tip definitely try and carry not much stuff into the battle and uh, have some friends online that could could help you to join and pick up some of the gear but anyway something I got in that fight was this the night sniper I love the camo on this it looks fantastic that sort of urban jungle camo and uh, it looks really really nice the damage output the base damage is 1185 good accuracy good fire rate uh, fairly decent stats all around. The burn damage is great at 312 and the chance to ignite at 34.5 is good as well. And it also has uh, a plus 120% critical hit damage, which means if you get headshots with it, it does incredible damage to, to basically, basically anything out there. Very, very nice sniper. Uh, I've got this as well. This was great. Uh, I actually got this in a mission fairly late in the game. I won't tell you where I got it. Uh, because it could be a spoiler for anyone that hasn't been there. But, yeah, the, the Raz Res Pushka, the 907 base damage, stats are fairly good, corrosive damage and the chance to corrode at 39% are great. It also has a plus 120% critical hit damage. Now, this thing is great against robots. Uh, and basically, I say anything that has corrosive damage is great against robots, but this is great because it is so accurate and... If you come up against something like a badass loader or a super badass loader, they have those rocket launching sort of arms or they have the laser arms or whatever they have. You can shoot those arms off those robots if you aim for the joints where the arms join to the body with one to two shots. Uh, towards the later stages of the game, I had to fight uh, a badass loader and he was fairly close to me, and a super badass loader in fact. And he was two levels above me. I thought, this is going to be crazy. I used this rifle and I shot his arms off in a couple of seconds. And then he's basically powerless. He has no way to attack you. So definitely get a good sniper and go for those critical points. On the robots, the critical points are either the eye for most robots. Some of the robots also have critical joints uh, where the, the actual legs join to the body. You can shoot that joint. And the other robots... Their critical joint is their arms, where the arms join to the body. So aim for those points and uh, yeah, it will make your life a lot easier. Okay, what I'll get into is the main reason I'm making this video is because I found a shield and this is it. I got this from the very last boss as a drop. I saw it on a, it took me ages because it, it, in a lot of cases it just looks like money when you see the, the orange on the ground and I was looking around and I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness. So it is Vlad the Impaler's shield. It has a 2879 capacity, fairly decent recharge rate, great recharge delay at 1.68 seconds, and the spike damage at 2879. Now, most spike damage shields will affect enemies if they come up and hit you, if they melee you, but this one launches corrosive homing spikes when damaged with bullets. So if someone shoots at you, this shield shoots back at them it shoots spikes out that do 2879 corrosive damage and it is unbelievably powerful. I was, I was sitting in a few areas where I just let enemies come up and basically attack me and shoot me and the shield would do all the work. You wouldn't even have to shoot your gun. Uh, incredibly, incredibly powerful shield. But yeah, that, that's the main reason I wanted to make the video for that shield. I've also got this grenade, very, very nice homing corrosive transfusion grenade little over 9,000 grenade damage because it spawns six grenades, but it's also a transfusion grenade and it's also a corrosive damage grenade. So 
The corrosive damage is great against robots or any machinery and being a transfusion grenade means that a, a portion of the damage actually comes back to you as health, uh, which is extremely helpful, extremely, extremely helpful. In the backpack, I've still got this in the backpack, I'll have to put that in the vault. I've got this, which I picked up from the, the final boss as well. I mainly picked it up because it was just a purple weapon. It actually looks a lot like something you'd buy from a toy store. It looks like a Nerf gun. Uh, fairly decent stats, but I don't really use the shotguns. I don't, don't really like to get in close like that. The Cutting Bone Shredder may be a spoiler, so I won't say anything about it. Uh, but if you played the first game, that, that may ring some bells. But I'll just show you the actual gun there. I won't say too much more about it. The Bolshe Pushka, 1603 damage. It's a slag rifle, so not bad, not bad. Quite uh, futuristic looking. That was also from the final boss. Fashionable Jericho. I really like this colour combination that Maliwan has going on with their weapons. It looks really cool. And speaking of uh, Maliwan, I've got this skin here for the Siren, and I'm pretty sure... I'll see if I can actually see what it was. That's it there. So you need to deal... Let me count those zeros, is that? So you need to deal one million burn damage to enemies, and that will unlock that skin. So that's level five. I just want to set the world on fire. Deal burn damage. That's one million burn damage to unlock that skin. So you can see that I clearly favor the, the burning weapons, but it's a really nice skin because it gives her, her hair and her outfit a cool color, but her eyes go this really iridescent sort of bluey green color. And uh, yeah, really liking that skin, rocking that at the moment. You can see my uh, badass rank there is 5296, so constantly climbing, starting to get some fairly solid stats now at 6 and 6%. When they start getting closer to 10%, they're really going to be noticeable. Uh, you'll see I've actually got three golden keys there. If you guys didn't know, uh, Randy Pitchford is actually the head of Gearbox Games, and he has a, a Twitter account called Duval Magic and I'll actually put his Twitter in the description. He's been giving away codes for gold keys for Borderlands 2, so if you guys aren't following him on Twitter and you play this game, definitely jump on there. He's giving them away constantly, and he's also giving them away cross-platform. So he's giving away keys for Xbox 360, PS3, and Windows PC formats. So definitely follow him, and he's also promised to give away other things other than gold keys. So... I'm sure in the future he'll probably give away codes that unlock specific weapons and things like that, or maybe even skins, but definitely, definitely cool that they're doing something like that. But anyway, guys, I thought I would just show you a bit of the stuff that I've unlocked, and yeah, there's there's not much else I can, I can sort of do. This is just a straight loot update video, and yeah, I'd just like to say thanks again. I've got a whole lot more subscribers since I made the last video. And yeah, if you, if you enjoy these videos, I enjoy making them. So thank you very much. And until the next one, I will see you later.